Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at ToJSON. ToJSON, as the name would suggest, simply returns back a JSON representation of your collection. So let's take a look at an example. Let's collect an array and let's have some product, apples, and we'll have a price of 45. Just for demonstration purposes, let's take a look at how we would do it in long form. So if you had this collection, you would probably do something like to array and let's save that to a variable and then let's return JSON encode and pass in that data variable. So there we are. We get a JSON string representing our collection. Now you can bypass all of that by directly calling the toJSON method instead. And let's return this. And let's check out the results. Exactly the same. Now, if you are familiar with JSON and code, you know that you can actually pass in some options to it. So to pass in any options using the toJSON method, you can actually just pass it in right here. So we'll say something like, I happen to know JSON pretty print is one of them. And let's check out how that's different. So now you see we have a nice pretty printed JSON string instead. Now visit the PHP documentation for JSON and code if you need to know what those options are. Now if you scroll down a little bit right here in the options section, you see all of the available options for this. So if you go to the actual JSON constants, there they are. And they give you a good explanation to what each of them does. So remember, the toJSON method is a very nice method that you can use to get a JSON string representation of your collection.